The two of us are people who are used to not talking about our, about feelings because, well, you know, why would we, right? We met, actually right outside our local clinic. I went in because I was having a bit of lack of sleep and stuff, so uh, yeah. So his physical issues turned out to be mental issues, which I could relate to as well. So we became like support buddies since then. <laughs> The first few years of, of us uh, being friends, you know, she's had, she's dealt a lot with her depression and anxiety and things like that. So there's been times where, you know, she's called me, you know, just bawling her eyes out. Dan is definitely somebody I look up to whenever I'm like afraid to do something or say something. She's just super honest with me. It's kind of like a mirror in the sense that she helps me see things that I don't want to see. I'm quite a quiet person. So I don't really like to argue with people. My mom is there to help me to argue for me. Sometimes you don't really even want to talk to a family member about it, but you meet somebody who you can really relate to. You meet somebody who you feel comfortable talking to, and I think that, that was the case for Lana and I. We knew each other from back in school, actually, but we ran in different circles, and we were like some of the social survivors at the end. Honestly, it's the best yeah. policy. You know, you might not like it, might sting a little bit, but, you know, it's not something that lasts. It's not something that lingers. So she taught me like, to read, to my first steps, all, all those first memories, yeah. milestone events was with her. Yeah. And then later on in life, actually, she's the one teaching me everything now. <laughs> like... We don't usually voice that out because as men in society, it's not a thing that we do. I've had a lot of friends since I was young, mm. but none of them stayed. Okay. You were one of the few who actually stayed, and I appreciate that. Well, how do you beat that? How do you top that? I think the thing that I really admire is how she has come out of it. Like, she's just become such a confident person. I just want you to know that you're not at fault for anything that's happening in your life at the moment. And thank you for being the friend I didn't know I needed. I don't really acknowledge how much you've done for us. So I would like to say thank you so much for, for everything. I think it also got to do with you as well. It just makes me more comfortable to be around him and that he's comfortable being around me than it makes me just be comfortable with everyone else. You are beautiful. Beauty comes in so many yeah. shapes and forms and I think sometimes you forget that. I always tell her this, I know it, it <clears throat> kind of sounds weird, but because we're in this lifetime and we're together and I always tell her like no matter what when we do go I will find you <laughs> if I could give anything to you it would be the gift of just following your heart and chasing your dreams and just make yourself super happy first okay Louis thanks for you know likewise sticking around I have a lot of friends, but not everyone is worth keeping around. <laughs> 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 <laughs>